How's it going everyone? JKX VX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Finally, the video we have all been waiting for. It is the information and new cars about update 23. Now, just a bit of information about it, because some of you are going to need to know this, is as most of you know, update 23, which is this one, was supposed to release two weeks ago when the seasons restarted. Basically, it's four weeks for every update. And the update was supposed to release two weeks ago. That means that we're already two weeks into this series. We had summer and then we had autumn. Both of those um, weeks, they had to give us duplicate content, nothing new, because the update wasn't ready. They actually had an issue with the update that stopped them from releasing it two weeks ago. But now it seems as if the update is complete. Update 23 is releasing this week and the new content will start from winter this Thursday, which is the third week in. So technically we only have this third week, then next week, and then we're into the next update, which is update 24. So keep in mind with this update, there's no summer and there's no autumn. All we've got is winter and spring, which is this week and next week. And then the seasons restart again for the next update because the new cars are coming out two weeks late. I hope that makes sense. So let's get into all the new stuff, shall we? Now it's worth noting because they didn't do a live stream, we don't have much information about it. We have all the new cars and all the new features, but we don't have the festival playlist information. But we know what the new cars are, so let's start with the new cars. So the first new car we're getting, there are four of them. The first one we're getting is the new Toyota MR2 SC, presumably supercharged, from 1989. This will be available from 50% completion on the winter season, which is this week, starting from Thursday. And then another new car is the 1973 Toyota Corolla SR5. This is through a seasonal championship called the Corolla Express, we don't know if this championship is in winter or spring, presumably um, winter. So that will also be available this Thursday as well, hopefully. The third new car is the Toyota MR2 GT, another variant of the MR2 from 1995. This is available through a seasonal championship called Track Toyotas in spring, which is next week, the final season for this update. And then the other new car is the 1974 Toyota Celica GT, this is available through 50% on spring, which is next week. So it seems like we're getting an MR2 and a Corolla this week, and then an MR2 and a Celica next week. All four are different new variant Toyotas. Now that's why quite weird, because if you remember the Torben Tuesday, there were six clues. Five of them were anagrams of Toyotas, so we were expecting five Toyotas, but we've only gotten four. Don't know where that fifth one's gone, but at least we've got four of them. And then the sixth clue, which was 7 200. Lots of people were getting some really mental cars with this, but it turns out that this clue wasn't hinting towards a car, it was hinting towards new achievements. That is the other new thing coming in this update. We have seven new achievements worth 200 gamer score. 7 200. So that's what the sixth clue meant 7 200. Seven new achievements worth 200 gamer score. Now there's another new thing that they've added, which is sort of a feature sort of thing. I'm going to I'm going to basically read it out now what it is. In the month of June, players will get the chance to play, earn and donate with Forza Horizon 4, Forza Motorsport 7 and Forza Street. Beginning June the 1st, so a couple of weeks ago, visit the Xbox One Rewards app to activate your Forza bonus punch card. Then jump into Horizon 4, Motorsport 7 or Forza Street to score bonus Microsoft reward points when you unlock up to three achievements. Once you've unlocked three achievements, re return to the Xbox Rewards app to the, the punch card, they call it, and then you can donate these points to the cho your choice of several charities and then Microsoft will match those donations for the whole month. And then in brackets it says US only. So I don't know what part of that is US only, but if that interests you, check that out. Another new thing in the update, we've got a showcase remix called Morning Rush. This seems to be another showcase remix in the taxi, I believe. I might be wrong, but another showcase remix coming, whether that's in winter or spring, I don't know. I'm going to guess spring. And then there's been a few little fixes and bug fixes. Let's read those fixes now. Fix an issue with the 2019 McLaren 720S Spider where the brake lights were not moving along with the rear wing. Very weird. Fix an inconsistency in the behaviour of an aftermarket hood on the Bentley Continental GT Speed. 
also very weird, fixed a minor, minor graphical issue on the Ultima Evo Coupe, very weird, fixed an issue with the taillight illumination on the Toyota Supra GT, and then some stability improvements. And that is the full changelog for update 23. We've got the four new cars, we've got the achievements, we've got the weird um, the bonus punch card thing, which I'm going to work on myself, the showcase remix, and then some bugs and fixes. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a pretty weird month, I'm sure a lot of you will agree. We should have got this update two weeks ago. Because it's two weeks late, that means I've had to cram all of the cars into two seasons. It's probably made a right mess of everything. But unless they are now behind and delayed, hopefully next week we'll have the Torben Tuesday for the next update. And then the next update will come out a week after that. So maybe we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, this update releases this week and you can start getting the new cars, the MR2 and the Corolla from this Thursday. And as always, I'll be doing my live stream then as well. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more photos and more content, and I'll see you all later.